All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of AEW Universe Mode. Tonight is AEW Dark Elevation. This is episode, I believe, number 80, or at least we're in the 80s, so holy cow. What a journey it has been. We have been together for quite some time. We're almost there to episode 100 of Universe Mode. That's incredible for me, but that is going to be quite some ways away. Anyways, let us get started with our very first matchup here tonight. It's looking to be quite a fun one. Wait a second. Oh, tag team match. I just saw King Rollins, and I was like, Becky Lynch. I was like, mixed tag? I was like, I didn't think mixed tag was in this. And our fatal four-way matchup tonight. Hangman Adam Page, Prince Devin, AJ Styles, and Roman Reigns. What a hell of a fatal four-way to start off with. Three former world champions. Well, actually, I guess uh, technically four former world champions. Roman Reigns, the world champion, AJ Styles. And Prince Devitt was also the universal champion once upon a time. And would count, I would count NXT. You know, if y'all love NXT so much, you know, that we should count it as, as a world championship, too. Uh, especially with Triple H now running the, the whole shebang on the main roster, he would definitely count NXT as um, they're starting to mention that now. But uh, I, I uh, took away uh, Prince Devitt's uh, bandana on his head. I felt that that really wasn't suiting for him. I did a little bit of editing t uh, to Prince uh, Devitt's uh, attire. Not a lot. Just some new changes that I made up to the costume. Costume. Talking like it's freaking Halloween. But I'm ready for this. To the fail for a match. I'm excited. It's the minute I saw this, I was excited for it. Let's make sure I'm recording still. I am. All right. Uh, if only I could, I would freaking put in, uh, you know, Prince Devitt's theme song in there. I have been listening to that theme song pretty much ever since I heard it. Uh, Three weeks ago, I want to say, I listened to uh, Real Rock and Roll pretty much at least once a day. It's such a catchy tune. I love it. I don't think I changed much up with the entrance. I know I, th I did one little thing. I think it's the first part of the entrance. Oh, uh, yeah. Prince Devitt, you know. Real rock and roll, so you know, do a little the air guitar there. Is a fatal four -way match. Making well, I still way kept it, you know, nice and dark, so it's getting right. more of the glow Counting feature the glow, for the. Uh, Weighing in at 190 pounds, Finn Balor. So it's got more of the. Uh, so the glow will come off when it's nice and dark. I think that's the only thing that I changed. Although I, th actually, I think I also changed up the, uh, yeah, the, the ring in, and it's there. You go, yeah. Just because I felt like that doing the whole, you know, Finn Balor, t uh, taunt thing. Oh man. I gotta change up some of the pyro though, because it doesn't really work. Although I had to keep this, because this is just awesome. I love this part here. Devin just puts his arms up and summons the fire. And how cool is that, though? Gotta keep that. Anyways, now that I've gone through my whole tutorial about everything that I said, we got the next person coming out here, AJ Styles. Two former leaders of the Bullet Club. Or actually, I should say, one former leader of the Bullet Club and AJ Styles. Prince Devitt, the current leader of the Bullet Club. And it's Fatal 4-Way style tonight here. So Prince Devitt having to come out here alone. No Young Bucks allowed at ringside. That's right, in the Universe Mode, they have not been suspended. They are in the finals for the Tag Team Tournament, which we will see the House of Black and the Bullet Club at FTR in trios action at the pay-per-view. Come this Sunday, 
to determine the new AEW World Tag Team Champions. And it will be an elimination style matchup, but that is later on tonight. We are talking about this fatal four-way matchup. Devitt just taking full control, just taking some time to taunt Hangman Adam Page, and Roman Reigns taking full control over AJ Styles right now in the early going to the matchup here. Hangman was able to counter. Oh, looking for the big boot by Hangman. Devitt with a straight kick to the face, and Hangman just absorbed it almost like, oh! Straight brain buster there from Styles there. Roman Reigns feeling a little, little bit of a whiplash effect, but quickly gets back up. And now Roman Reigns takes AJ Styles down. Oh, Hangman, a little disoriented there. Hangman's probably going to be looking for getting, gaining some momentum back after his loss to Okada on Rampage. And on, I hate to say this about Hangman, but in quick fashion did Okada score the victory. And then not only that, keep in mind that Hangman and Page and Roman Reigns have had quite a few uh, matches with each other as well too. So that gives Roman Reigns another opportunity to take a piece down from Hangman. But right now Roman Reigns and AJ Styles fixated on dealing damage with each other. Devitt and Hangman just staying right on top of each other here. Devitt's got Hangman in the corner. Taking him to the top rope. Devitt, oh, Hangman kicks him right into the chest there. A nice Luthes press and Roman Reigns, wait, AJ Styles counters with a clothesline. Roman Reigns and AJ Styles right here in front of my table. Please guys, uh, don't, don't wreck my table. I only have the one tonight. Oh, Devitt's going top rope. Hangman may be in the drop zone. Diving footsteps. Hangman rolls through just before Devitt can gain the full effect. Hangman throws Devitt into the corner and then sends him to the other one. Oh, nice forearm there from Hangman Adam Page. Hangman putting the boots to Devitt. Devitt catches the boot and throws Hangman down to the mat. Into the cover. One. Hangman kicking out the count of one there. And AJ Styles and Roman Reigns just fixed it here on the outside of the floor. Guys, uh, you might want to get back into the ring before someone scores a pinfall inside it. Oh, damn it. Going for some type of move. Not sure what it was, but whatever he had planned, Hangman countered right out of that one. Uh oh, Hangman's got Devitt to the top rope. Oh, we know what he's got planned here. Taking him to the outside with a superplex. And Styles, suplex neck breaker. Big time damage has been done to Devitt. Hangman Adam Page. AJ Styles and Adam Page that not really sure what's going on here. Taking a moment, perhaps they were just trying to think of the next step. Hangman straight kick to Devitt. Devitt is in trouble here. Oh, Hangman just taking Devitt straight into the barricade there. And now Devitt, oh, side of suplex. Devitt inside the ring now. And I can't blame Devitt, you know, gain, go to the outside. Wait a second, Devitt, oh, sling blade to AJ Styles. I was going to say, are we going to see Devitt and AJ team up? Two members of Bullet Club, what, well, one former member, excuse me. I remember that Devitt brought back the Bullet Club for himself. And it has been a huge help to the Young Bucks career. The Young Bucks have been more vicious and nasty than ever since Prince Devitt brought the Bullet Club back, but wait a minute, Styles clash! And look at, look at, great ring awareness from AJ Styles. He rolled away from the ropes to ensure that Devin could not use any of his limbs there to get the ropes there. And now it's AJ Styles doing a little bit of taunting. Styles going top rope, what's he thinking about here? Looking for the frog splash, but Devin got the knees up there. Styles just took a little too much time. AJ sends Devitt out on the ring apron. 
And now, wait a second. Hangman and Roman Reigns. I, I completely forgot this is the fatal void for a moment there. Forgive me, ladies and gentlemen. Referee into the cover. Or excuse me, Roman's in for the cover. Referee's in position. So much happening at once. Sometimes it's just hard to, you know, catch your breath. Hangman kicked the inside leg, and now Hangman with it. Oh, face buster there. Styles got something on Prince Devon. I'm not sure what it was there, but it was definitely looked like a big time move. Oh, man. Styles is just throwing some haymakers there. Hangman just coming and firing like a bullet. Uh oh. It's the double double axe handles. Hangman rebounds off the ropes with the leaping lariat there. And now Devitt sends Hangman in the corner. Hangman got a spear. Roman got the spear on AJ Styles. Ah, uh, bad timing there for Roman Reigns. Hangman out of page is right there to break up that, so bring up the pinfall. Excuse me. Uh oh. Hey man, we know what he's looking for here. The buckshot, there no. AJ Styles countered out of the buckshot lariat. And the Pele kick. And Roman Reigns shoves AJ Styles off. Second like Roman Reigns, leaping lariat there. Devin is down, but so is the referee. Unfortunately, he was in Roman Reigns' way. Uh, Roman Reigns forearm shot there. Superman punch. Devin gets dropped right down. Ah, oh, man. Oh, wait a sec. That's right. The desperation of Roman Reigns. We've seen it in recent weeks. Roman Reigns has been changing things up in his arsenal as of late, and that's usually not what you see Roman Reigns doing by using, using the ropes like that, but it's been a while since Roman Reigns has been able to gain a victory because of Hangman and Page, and he wants that momentum back. Roman Reigns wants another shot at the world title, but in order to do that, you need wins. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, who's gonna get it first? The phenomenal forearm caught Roman Reigns on the floor. But Heyman nailed the buckshot Larry on Roman Reigns. Shotgun drop kick there by Devitt. It's open season for Devitt. Who's he going to pick? He picks Hangman on page. He's choking the life out of him. Hangman felt the grab and going for another Larry, but Devitt. Drops him throat first across the rope. And wait a second, what's Devin got playing? He's got Roman in the front headlock there. Roman now returns the favor of the front headlock. Both men just trying to slow each other down here. Oh, into the backbreaker. Oh, Styles with the calf killer. Calf killer is locked in. Roman Reigns, man, no choice but to tap. Oh, but Hangman breaks it up. And now AJ Styles is punching Roman Reigns right in the face there. Devin with Larian drop toe hold there from Hangman. Hangman now goes to the outside on the ring apron. Great balance by Hangman who drops Devin with a neck breaker. Styles looking for Styles clash. Bang! Dropped Roman Reigns, but Hangman just in perfect positioning there. Styles with the front headlock. Goes for the leg there. Right. Let's turn the brightness up a little bit. With it. Roman. Oh no! Styles got dropped face first. Both men looking for a Michinoku driver there. That could have ended bad for Styles. Oh, nice lead there from Devitt. Devitt's going top rope. And I think he may have been looking for the diving footstops on Roman, but Roman rolled to the outside of the floor. There's no way that Devitt's thinking about diving footstops from on a Hangman page. Hangman is just too far away there. 
He almost made the dive with that elbow drop, though. And who knows, maybe, maybe... Oh, there's the last call from Hangman. But Hangman knows that Devin was right there by the ropes. No, no point going for a cover. Forearm. Oh, a second forearm. And now Devin going to go top rope again. Thinking diving foot stops, but Hangman rolled to the outside of the floor. Styles perhaps could have been thinking about that forearm. Roman Reigns. Oh, it's a Guri there. Styles catching Roman hard there with that insecurity. It's not just a kick to the side of the head, but a kick on the ear. That'll disorient you. Superman punch there. Roman opts not for the cover, though. Perhaps he was thinking that wouldn't have been enough. Devitt still out of it. And Styles thinking about the four, but Roman Reigns is right there. There's no way that Styles would be able to make that distance. Too close. And Devin just raking at the face of Roman Reigns. Oh my goodness! Spear! Cut AJ Styles in half! Two! That came out of nowhere. I just want to see that again. That was so cool. I never, I didn't see that coming. All right. It's not like Roman Reigns was stalking anybody. He just all of a sudden, he said, you know what? You're in my sights. Boom! <laughs> Oh my goodness, Roman Reigns just cut AJ Styles in half with that spear. And Hangman was right there, couldn't have broken it up. And uh-oh, Hangman's taking Styles around for a giant swing. I, want, I, I, don't, I don't like that I gave Hangman that. I'm going to break it up just because I know that's an OMG moment, so I know he's going to go for the cover. Ah! Well, I have to help out. Whoa! Oh, wait a sec! Damn it! 1916! I, didn't, I wasn't expecting that. What do I do? What do I do? Just go for the cover, I guess. I wasn't... That's, that was weird. So I gotta I got take that away from Hangman, because I think the only person who should actually have the swing is uh, is Claudio. That works, for, that's only for him, really. I mean, other people can do it, like if I, if Wardlow has it, I guess fine, that would be something for him that I think would be okay. But I feel Claudio's the only one who should actually have a Superman punch. Uh-oh, Roman's in the corner, and Devitt's in position, Spear! Just sliced right through him. And Styles doesn't see it. Oh, Devin gets out of the spear. That's incredible. Great determination there from Devin. Roman Reigns gets taken out, and Devin says, "Not today, you don't." And now Devin sends Roman back inside the ring. Prince Devin, what's he got planned? Uh oh. Gonna go top rope. Can he make the distance? Oh, I wasn't thinking about diving foot stomps. I mean, picture that. You get hit with a diving foot stomps and those feet land on the, your back. Good God. Oh, AJ Styles. Oh, Shigaroshi. Into the cover. Hangman kicks out in a count of a two there. And Devin counted the spear. Oh, the double knee face buster. Roman Reigns rolls to the outside of the floor. And Devin, reverse DDT there. Devin turns his attention to the phenomenal AJ Styles. AJ now, drop kick missed. A little too much timing. Devin now, wrestles AJ down to a single knee, but AJ Styles is not gonna go full down. Couple shots to the abdomen there. Oh man, it's just turned to a strike fest there near the end there. But you don't want to get into a strike fest with the cowboy. Eggman and Prince Devitt returning back to each other. This these two start their fight, the beginning of this matchup here. And now Devitt now trying to wrestle Roman Reigns down to a single knee. He's got it, but. Roman just controlling his stance now. And a couple shots to the end, then breaking it up and just a hard throw there. 
Roman Reigns gets into the break. Shotgun drop kick. Miss it though. A punch right to the face. Oh, nice headbutt counter there. Leaping Lariat got countered. Goodness gracious. Oh, wait a sec. Roman Samoa drop there. And Devitt now rolling to the outside of the floor. Straight thrust kick there. And Eggman just with another strike there. With his feet. Slowing Roman Reigns' momentum down with a front headlock. Hangman German suplex and Roman Reigns bouncing off the buckle. Kick to the side of the head and now Hangman Adam Page rolls to the outside of the floor. Roman Reigns spear! Cuts AJ Styles in half. Devin gets back inside the ring. AJ Styles able to kick out. That would have been the end. There would have been no way that Prince Devin was getting over there to break that one up. Big time shoulder tackle, Roman Reigns. I'd say he's probably got the most amount of strength power-wise in this matchup. When it comes to striking power though, I think I might give that one to Hangman Adam Page. Oh, it's a gurry. That one caught Roman Reigns on the ribs and on the side. Two. Hangman dropping AJ Styles down by the legs, the chop block there. Hey man, thinking about something big, but Roman Reigns steps in with a headbutt. Forearm and... Oh, the buckshot, Lariat! Devin got taken down by the buckshot! Oh, I can't tell if, if Roman broke that up or not. Styles' body was in the way too much. Devin, I believe, may have gotten out of that. I, I can't tell for sure. Nice fisherman suplex there. Hangman could not complete the bridge for the pin. And now Styles gonna go top rope. Who's he looking at here for this one? Roman Reigns, oh, going for a fist drop there. Roman rolled out of the way there. Oh, Devitt, looking for it. Detonation kick there. Oh, wait a sec. That may have done it, may have knocked out Hangman just long enough. Diving footsteps, oh, he got, he got Hangman on the head. But Devin was not, was not satisfied with that. Go, he should have gone for the cover. Maybe he didn't, felt he didn't get all the full effect of the diving foot stops. I don't know. But I, I, I think Devin should have gone for that cover there. Nice slam there. And now Roman Reigns turns his attention to Hangman on page. And I think Hangman now. Runs through it. Oh, big time kick dropping. Roman Reigns down. And now it's just between Devitt and Hangman Adam Page in the ring right now. Perfect opportunity for one of these guys to pick up a pinfall if they can. Hangman positions Devitt on the top rope. Oh, but transitions it down into the tree of Woman. Oh, man. A solid kick to the abdomen, but Devitt landed hard on his head as he fell down from that position. Again, it has turned into a strike fest. And wait a minute. Devitt sizes up AJ Styles for something big. Could be thinking 19 16. Styles gets dropped down hard. Superman punch. AJ Styles got out of that one. I don't know how many more times these guys can actually kick out of each other's signature maneuvers. Roman Reigns looking for a spear, but Hangman countered that into a DDT. It's like no matter what Roman Reigns does, it's like Hangman has his number. Buckshot Lariat again! And he had the cover on Roman Reigns. And oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Eggman, oh, I think Eggman should have gone for the cover on Roman Reigns. He may have had time. It's Devitt. Oh, Devitt, submission, hold, lock in. Locked in. And after all the damage has been done to the head of, oh, uh -oh wait a minute, Eggman. Dead eye. And it's in the package. Styles breaking that one up with an insert curry there. Unbelievable, what a hell of a way. Oh, Shigaroshi. 
Every single time we're trying to say something, these guys deliver some big move. Style just raking at the face of Hegman and Page. Big time, big boot. All four men have just been absolutely busted open in this matchup here. Roman with a clothesline. Hangman utilizing his power to his advantage to push off AJ Styles. Roman Reigns with a power bomb. A wise decision by Roman Reigns to knock over the cover as he knew where AJ Styles was. He knew that there was no point in that as, as AJ would have broken it up. Wait a minute now, wait a second. Roman Reigns! How satisfying would it be for Roman Reigns if he pins Hangman, no, Hangman dodges the, the spear again. I tell you again, it's like no matter what Roman Reigns does, Hangman Adam Page just seems to have his number. And that's just gotta absolutely piss off Roman Reigns. Oh, Devin looking to steal that one there. Snapmare driver, and, and again, uh oh, Hangman's in the drop zone. Now it wise move there, but oh, drop kick there, but Devin pulled himself up by the ropes. I thought he was gonna roll outside the ring, and I think it's smart that he did it. Stay inside the ring. Can't take any chance when you feel like you're reaching the final end of this matchup. Styles clash, perhaps, but Hangman countered Devitt into a straight jack. Oh, actually, that wasn't a straight jack in German. That was a tiger suplex. No, the dragon suplex. A little bit out of practice, excuse me. All right, nice gut buster there from Styles. Oh, Roman Reigns. He's got the guillotine locked in. And Styles may have to tap. Styles may have to tap. Devin's got to shake the cobwebs. Oh, Devin could not. Devin could not shake the cobwebs quick enough. He was still dazed, and that gave Roman Reigns time to lock that submission in deep and get the pin. Here is your winner, Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns. Maybe on the track to get his momentum back. He did not pin Hangman Adam Page. And as the match continued on, I think that may have been what Roman Reigns would have wanted. But hell, it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, you get the win. You go home happy. That's one more victory for the Tribal Chief, the head of the table. And now we go to our next contest. Let's see, which match do I feel like skipping? I think I'd skip the tag team match. I don't know. I don't feel like playing that one. This one sounds this one sounds fun. Our next matchup we have Bailey and Becky Lynch in tag team action. That's uh, definitely an odd choice there. But Tony Khan wants to give these two ladies a break from beating the hell out of each other as he has a bigger match planned for them, so he wants them to try to compete in tag team action as they go against Kyrie Sane and the House of Black's own Julia Hart. And, of course, Becky Lynch has King Rons by her side and Julia Hart has... Brody King by her side. Although, rumor has it, Bailey said that she didn't want King Rollins out there. And Becky said, you don't tell me what to do with my husband. So, there you have it. Ah, I'm... I pretty much got all the commentary lines out of the way that I needed. <laughs> Sometimes when the screen just takes too long and you've already said everything you need to say, you're like, okay, what next? I gotta think about what I want to say now. Better make sure that my ringer's actually off, so. That way, I don't get, you know, any, uh, what's it called? Demonetized by YouTube for anything? Or any audios or whatnot. Yes, the red bar. It is complete. There we 
go. Becky Lynch makes her way out to the ring first with her husband, first. King Rollins, out there. And here comes a fan favorite, everyone's friend, Bailey. Uh, I shouldn't say everyone's friend. Becky Lynch isn't really quite fond of Bailey, but uh, Becky Lynch is weird anyway, so. And uh, out next we have Kyrie Say, the captain herself. I love the flying captain. And then, of course, the House of Black coming in here right now. Julia Hart and Brody King. I'm just curious who's going to do whose entrance. Oh, yeah. And her partner. Oh, that, rem that reminds me. I got rid of the BTE champions for being the elite just because I really felt that it wasn't helping out anything at all. I really feel that all I all I really want for being the elite is just I want it to be a major show so I can have rivalries on there. But uh, yeah, there was no titles being defended really, so I'm just like you know what, just screw the titles. You know, so Orange Cassidy is only the um, is only the uh, uh, TNT champion, and Julia Hart is only the uh, Ring of Honor Women's Champion. Uh, Becky Lynch now, let's talk actual, cut actual wrestling now. Becky Lynch is taking control of the early goings of this matchup here. Over on Kyrie Sane, we saw earlier that Bailey was going to start this matchup, but Becky Lynch tagged herself in there. And Kyrie with a big time drop kick there. Interesting teams here. Bailey and Becky Lynch, definitely these two rivals. We're not used to seeing them try to team up with each other. And Julia Hart and Kyra Sane, definitely it's uh, definitely different. It's not exactly who you'd expect. Uh, Becky Lynch taking control over the matchup so far, working over the arm there. You got to mention that Julia Hart would be a someone who is definitely a target in this matchup, as she is the Ring of Honor Women's World Champion. So she's an easy target to go after. Many people would want to score the pinfall or submission victory on her. Uh, wait, a, wait a second. <laughs> Becky Lynch was going for the tag from Bailey and Bailey's walking out. A little bit of frustration there, but I can't I can't say I blame Bailey. I mean, after all, after everything that Becky Lynch has done to her, well, I mean, I guess Tony Khan's getting his wish. He didn't want these two women fighting each other, but uh, but now Becky Lynch is all alone and dealing with the vicious Julia Hart. Becky Lynch is definitely not in a good position, but wait a second. But Becky Lynch still, she may have lost her tag team partner, but she has not lost her manager and King Rollins. The post for the distraction there. I forgot that one momentarily. Becky Lynch locks the legs. Good control there with a the submission hold locked in. Julia Hart able to escape that one. Oh! Great escape there from Julia. Sends Becky into the corner. And now Becky Lynch sends Julia Hart into her corner where Bailey normally would have been, but no longer. Julia Hart just taking full control here. And as you can see, King Rollins slid a steel chair in the ring, and hopefully the referee gets that thing out of there. We don't need that thing being taken advantage of. Becky with the exploder suplex. I mean, she may do this all by herself. Oh, just as so I say that one, Brody King comes in. A little bit of a distraction. I can't say that I that I blame that I blame him though. King Rollins wants to do distractions. You know, the House of Black can do it as well. Becky Lynch still fighting this one by herself though. 
You know, despite everything we say about Becky Lynch, she's no stranger to, to fight long battles. Julia sends Becky into her corner. Becky again with another counter. Julia, Becky transitions, throws Julia into the ropes, and Julia just stopping her momentum. That's, that's pretty good there. I think Julia, oh, kick to the ribs, and out transitions into a face buster. And uh, King Rollins again back on the ring apron, posing for the distraction. Julia Hart may want to turn around as Becky Lynch, the manhandle slam. Is it, did I give Becky that as her? No, I didn't. I got. I thought I, should, I have to give her that as one of her finishers. Because one of the disarmers is just, it looks cool, but there's just too much that Becky Lynch does of rolling around. It makes it easy for people to get to the ropes. Oh, she's got the arm. Got the arm. The disarmer is locked in. That may do it. Julia has no escape right now. And she's just been, Becky Lynch just lost the grip there. Too much time at, wait a second. Becky catching the leg and now single leg Boston Crab and now Julia Hart looking to make this, the, the crawl to the ropes there. But she fights out of it. Julia should go for the tag. She's gotta remember she's not alone here. This is, pretty, this is a handicap matchup at the moment. Although with King Rollins at, at uh, Becky Lynch's side, it's been a pretty fair matchup. Oh, Julia. Sends Becky Lynch, she's close to her ropes and, oh, nice power slam there into the cover. One, two, count of two there. Julia should just go for the, go for a tag. Kyrie stays a fresh, she's fresh in this matchup. Rebound off the rope, wait a sec, Julia, thinking about a springboard drop kick there and she may have almost had Becky Lynch if she could have just Twisted her body a little bit more towards Becky's direction. Becky sizing up Julia Hart for the disarmer. Locks it in again for a second time there. Julia's in trouble. Julia Hart's in trouble. That arm has been worked over so much. Anymore. And, and if you'll notice that Kyrie Say did not get involved to break up that submission at all. She might be feeling a little bit frustrated as Julia Hart just, you know, hogging all the spotlight here so she might be just a little frustrated at Julia Hart oh wheelbarrow face buster there Julia showing a little bit of her athleticism that she still has here what are you doing Brody oh wait no 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 can I do it can I get there in time match is over That, that sucks. That was completely dumb. What the hell? What are you doing, Julia? Julia doesn't care. Why is Julia Hart not ranked for any titles? I'll have to look at that. She should be ranked with something. I know she's the, the Ring of Honor Women's Champion, but uh, she should be ranked under the AEW Women's World Champion. Let's see, what time slot are we at? Uh, good time still. This is the matchup I think we're going to skip. We've seen enough of Enzo and uh, Ortiz, the whole gang. We'll skip them for a week. Ortiz pokes up the victory over Morrissey, just like he did uh, last time as well, too. There we go. This matchup, I'm, I'm interested to see. Christian Cage against Shelton Benjamin. I, these, guys, these guys have probably fought before. And uh, I wanna, I'm going to guess ECW. Hell, Shelton Benjamin has been around uh, WWE for quite some time. That They've probably even fought uh, back in the Raw 2005 days. 
dun, dun, dun. If you close your eyes, your life will get the truth revealed. Sorry. Now comes Christian Cage and next, Shelton Benjamin. Shelton has one of the worst. His like, his current theme song is like one of the worst theme songs ever. Yeah, yeah. It's so weird. But this, this should be quite an interesting contest between these two athletic gentlemen here. Christian Cage, Shelton Benjamin. Christian's got Shelton in a ground headlock there. A punch right to the face there. Christian Cage gaining the early control over Shelton Benjamin right now. But Shelton turns around with that DDT there. Kick to the back and now Benjamin. Dog oh, grabs a Christian Cage who felt the grab and was able to counter it. Christian Cage and Shelton Benjamin tied up in the ropes there. Referee gonna try to look for a clean break between these two. And you like that? Fans, you can see that you saw in the background, they're giving a slight applause. They love that when they see two guys just with a clean break there. They love the respect between two athletic wrestlers, but the two of these two wrestlers. Cage sends Shelton Benjamin in the ropes, looking for a knife edge chop there, but Shelton got hit his hands up there. Cage taking control over the situation right now. Neck breaker. Shelton counters out of it. Wait a sec. Shelton Benjamin into it. Jesus! Butterfly gut buster there. That really, like that cut, that caught Cage there on the shoulder and on the chest. You work a move like that, it just catches you everywhere pretty much. Shelton Benjamin taking control over the matchup right now. It has been mostly Christian Cage, but Shelton Benjamin started to turn this around. Going for the early cover here. Ref in position for a count of one there. Oh, Christian Cage stiffens the back up there. Oh, first elbow. That caught Benjamin like right in the nose there. Leaping clothesline there. You can see that that one like, you know, caught Christian Cage like his neck was a little bit stiffened there on the on the force of the impact when he fell down. Cage with a reverse elbow. The, oh, another elbow there. Grabs the legs of Benjamin. And now Christian Cage with a kick right to the stomach there. That'll upset the stomach for what Benjamin may have had for lunch. Christian Cage sends Shelton Benjamin out onto the ring apron. Cage looking to bring Benjamin in the hard way with a suplex. That's great control by Christian Cage there. And now Benjamin slides back in the ring. Oh. Oh, Christian! Pulling down Benjamin by the head there. Christian Cage gonna go top rope. Thinking of frog splash, and he connects. One, two. Wow, that was, uh, I was uh, expecting a little bit more from Michelle Benjamin there, no offense. And Christian Cage pulls Christian. off another victory for himself. Christian Cage may be on the fast track for that world title picture if he keeps racking up points like this. I want to play a match. Which match should I play, though? I gotta keep myself fresh. Ooh, this is a match I want to play. Hell yeah. Eddie Kingston, Minoru Suzuki, and Tommaso Ciampa. I think uh, I think there was like another, it doesn't really matter. There was like some tag team match or something that was booked, and I was like, eh, I'm not feeling this one. So I decided, you know what, let's go for a triple threat. And I was like, who should I book? And then I was like, eh, Tommaso Ciampa. And I was like, Eddie Kingston. And I was like, Minoru Suzuki. I was like, okay. That's what I'm talking about. You know what? Normally I'd play as Eddie Kingston, but I don't play as uh, Suzuki often. We don't, we don't really see Suzuki often, so we're going to play as Suzuki. 
I'm, I'm liking this triple threat match. I think this is going to be like a hard-hitting style matchup here. Tommaso Ciampa with that knee. Suzuki with whatever the fuck Suzuki wants to do. And Eddie Kingston with the... Uh, uh, oh, what's the spinning backhand called? No. Oh, man. I got... I don't know what Eddie Kingston calls, calls it. Maybe I can look it up right now. Making his way to the ring from Yonkers, New York. And enjoy the entrances. I'm going to look up what Eddie Kingston's finisher is called. Eddie King. I think it's the Urican. If I remember correctly. Watch, Wikipedia will, um, uh... wait, don't they, don't they, uh, I thought they usually, uh, give the, uh, the finishing names. Yeah, I got it, the ur Urican. I, I was right, all right. I, it's like, it's like one of those moments when you, when you haven't, you know, said something for quite some time, you're like, okay, what the hell is it called? Ah, uh, here we go, Minoru Suzuki. I haven't actually listened to Kaze Ninare for quite some time, so. Could you imagine how cool it would be, like, if in AEW fight forever, maybe if we, if we got some New Japan town in there. If we got, like, Suzuki, or could you imagine even Okada in the game? How fucking cool that would be. You could play Kenny Omega versus Okada as many times as you want. Hell yeah. There we go. Minoru Suzuki going right. Oh my god, Suzuki catching and it kicks it into Tommaso Ciampa. And Ciampa just breaking at the eyes of Suzuki. Suzuki with a big boot there. And it kicks him. Maybe a little dazed and confused there. Just trying to figure out who to go after. Suzuki controlling the arm there. Tommaso Ciampa just taking too much time, just taunting it. Suzuki just making everyone pay here. Suzuki with a kick to the ribs. Chip. Oh man. Backdrop suplex. Suzuki just taking full control over everyone in this matchup here. Looking for the forearm Champa. Suzuki catches the arm. Great movements there from Suzuki. Oh, just drops right down the top of the shoulder. Oh, and it kicks in. Catches Suzuki, not just on the side of the head, but again, that collides with your ear as well, too. And Suzuki rolls to the outside of the floor. Eddie Kingston has taken Tommaso Ciampa to the outside. And remember, in a matchup like this, triple threat rules. There's no countouts, no disqualification. So these men can do as much damage to the outside of the floor as they want. Ciampa now just appreciating his work that he's done. To I got the wrong guy. That doesn't really matter. Oh, Suzuki with the octopus stretch. I don't know if that's one of Suzuki's signature moves, but that kind of feels like something that he would do. What are you doing? Stop taunting me, you son of a bitch. Oh, and he kicks it with a headbutt. Right to the ribs. Oh, and it kicks and slaps the face of Suzuki. That's definitely something Kingston would have done. Suzuki with a crossbody, throwing his whole body there. And a big time back suplex. Champo rolls out. Front headlock. Oh, oh Champo just using his knees there against Suzuki's head. Oh, and a final knee strike. Champa picking Suzuki up and just uh, rake it at the face. Champa now got the front headlock on Kingston. Hit, kick, yeah, can't speak. Kingston with a big boot. Gonna look for the cover on Eddie Kingston. Fuck it. <laughs> I think I think Champa. Oh man, I think Champa got out of it.
Uh-oh. Champa looking for something big, but Suzuki counters. Wait, that's not what I wanted. Ah, oh, that's right. I was like, okay, play, played possum, so it forces me to do something, so. Although sometimes I feel like it never works out for me when I do that. Eddie, what are you doing? Oh, looking for the finisher, but. Suzuki catches some big kick. Champ up right to the face. Belly to belly, no. This is a fun triple threat match. I'm having fun right now. Oh, I like that. I just go to the outside. Champa was like, all right, Suzuki, German suplex there. And now Suzuki with a little bit of taunting of his own. Everyone's been busy taunting. Suzuki says, I can show off a little bit too here. Oh, uh, Suzuki locks in. The Kimura, the Kimura lock locked in. No damage has been done to the arms of Eddie Kingston, but that might, you know, if Suzuki can do some damage to the arm, it will definitely not have the full effect of the hurricane if Eddie Kingston nails it. Great escape there from Eddie, though. Oh, speaking of it, Eddie was looking for the hurricane, but Suzuki backed off. Smart and wise strategy. Suzuki. Wait a sec, what's he doing here? Okay, I know Suzuki. I don't know if Suzuki's like too old or if he wouldn't do something like this, but everyone has like an OMG moment in the corner, and so I want to give Suzuki something, okay? Suzuki with a drive by! <laughs> What time slot am I looking at right now? All right, let's see if we can end this within. Suzuki go for the cover. Oh, referee actually got taken down there. Oh, wait a sec. Eddie kicks it with a Kimura. Suzuki had one on him, and Eddie kicks it returns the fire. Suzuki again working the arms of Eddie Kingston. Suzuki's going in the middle of the rope, but who's he targeting? Going after Champa. Oh, still got somebody. Doesn't really matter. Oh, Champa. No, with the air raid neck breaker. Oh, wait a sec. Champa has got Eddie Kings in a position. Champa's looking for the fairy tale ending. Or he was. Kingston managed to shift his weight a little bit to stop that fairy tale ending from coming. Kingston with a dragon sleeper. And Suzuki quickly breaks that up. Oh, the Urukin! And it kicks the nail, the Urukin! You can't do it! No! Don't roll out! Oh shit! I want you! Boom! Suzuki with the octopus stretch! Is Champa going out? Really trying to fight me on this one, aren't you, Champa? Ah, oh, Champa passed out! Suzuki with a submission! <laughs> Suzuki does it! What happened? Oh, thank God. I was like, wait a second, what's going on? Here is your winner. <laughs> mean are you, Suzuki? That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Not the best match so far, but I I, th I think uh, I think uh, that deserves a thumbnail just for the simple fact of Minoru Suzuki, Eddie Kingston, Tommaso Ciampa. Come on, how could you not love a match that of like that? Anyways, that has been part one. We will be going to part two where we will finish up the show. I believe we have only uh, two matches left. Ooh, MJF and Malachi Black. Ooh, oh that's nice. I like that. 
my uh, my recording bar. I don't think I don't know if it ever did this, but it's showing me I have five minutes left on the screen. I don't know if you guys can see that. I hope you can't because uh, I would like it if that didn't show up while I was streaming. But uh, but I like that. It kind of is like telling me, hey bud, you're gonna, you're running out of time soon. But anyways, I will see you guys in part two where yeah, definitely MJF of Malachi Black. Woo, buddy, should be a good one.